Why? What the fuck? Is, <laughs> yeah, can you talk about that? Like, how does that even happen? Well, I was a raging, raging alcoholic. Cool. Yeah. No, I mean, not cool, but shit. No, yeah. I now it's cool. When was so this? I, it was four and a half years ago. I was like that girl. Like the girl that you, you're like, oh, I'm not going to bring you to my mom. Jesus. You know, <laughs> like just like embarrassing myself constantly. But was it like you'd go out to like events or like sent like uh, public places and you're like drinking and then you just didn't know when to stop or you would just so, drink because it's Saturday at 11.58 in the morning? <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, like that, you know, when you go out and you're like, I'm going to have one drink. Yeah. <laughs> just one. For the first time in my life, I'm just going to have one fucking drink. And then I'm like, my girls would be like, another drink. Two drinks. All right, I can do two drinks. I can still go home, <laughs> Fine, right? Just one more. Okay. Yeah. And then they're like, you know, they're, 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 something ignites. Yeah. It's like a switch. Some people can go home. They're like, you know, I'm tired. I got work yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. That's like the responsible thing to do. <laughs> Is it you? That's, that's super me, yeah. Oh, I that's mean, I like going out. It's like one drink. I'm like, all right, time to go. <laughs> Man, I, I, I honestly, those are the people that I admire the most. Really? Because I can never just have one. No, yeah, I can. They call me boring. I say I don't care. <laughs> I, say, I tell them I'm tired. Yeah, <laughs> I'm telling yeah, them I'm tired. Me, I don't care. I'm going I to bed. I got shit to do. I got, yeah, I got but if you drink one anyway. drink, like, I might as well just have two. Yeah. No, <laughs> it starts. No, fuck that. No, but no, but some people can. And I would always like be like, wow. Yeah, that's like a specimen. That's yeah, something that yeah, I don't yeah. know what's it like, but I admire that. Uh -huh. From three drinks, something is like boiling inside of me, and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm ready to f shit up, right, you know? Right, like, right, right, right. and from there, it's like, all right, where are we going next? Yeah. And then I would end up at eleven at seven in the morning doing lines of coke. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, and then yeah, I'm yeah. like, you know, is this okay to talk about it here? Yeah, I mean, we've talked about heroin at this point. <laughs> I think, I think we can talk about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, so from that, it's like I lost myself. Talk about losing yourself, you know? It's mm -hmm. like, you know, and I couldn't hold a relationship, of course. Couldn't even hold on with yourself. You're all over the place. You didn't know who you were. Speak the truth, brother. So then what happened? <laughs> <laughs> so then that's going on. You were, okay, you were drinking all this stuff, but then how did, I mean, clearly you're in a different space Completely right now. Completely different. So I don't what recognize that for, person anymore. So you were doing this, you felt like, okay, I'm an alcoholic, where is all this stuff? Yeah. What happened for you to say, okay, I got to do something different? And then we'll go from there. So it was Father's Day weekend. Um, I, I I already knew I had a problem because I was like, man, like, can I just go home when I say I'm going to go home? Sometimes I can, right? Sometimes it's like, oh, shit, I got it. But a lot of times, more often than not, I it, it just, and it got progressively worse. That's really? the thing. Mm. At first, it's fun. It's like everyone's doing it. And then you turn into that girl that's, like, embarrassing. You know, it's like she's on, on She top can't just have one drink. Yeah, like, or she's always looking for that next excitement, mm. next high. It's like, yo, can we chill? Like, yeah. sometimes I can chill, but more often than not, I couldn't, right? So it got to the point, it was <laughs> my um, high school reunion. And back in high school, it was a hot mess still. And I was like, I'm going to prove to them that I've changed. What a joke. <laughs> yo, what a joke. Like, it was, we ended up being in Bodega. You guys know Bodega. Sure, sure, Yeah, sure. that place is lit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, was there, obviously, was drinking because I was nervous. And, you know, and that's the thing that got me, like, drinking was my insecurities. It's like, when I drink, I don't give a shit, you know? And it's like, mm. I can be more wild, more free. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. So, you um, thought? So, I thought. Free at the hands of it, alcohol. Mm, yeah. At the country of alcohol. Enslaved to walk. That's why it's like, I can't be free without this. Because yeah. if I don't have this, then I start, like, questioning everything about myself. I don't know who I am. I hate myself because yeah. when I drink, I, you know. So, Father's Day weekend, that high school <laughs> reunion, to sum it all up, I woke up on that Sunday on the floor of a lobby <laughs> With everyone walking around me. No way. And me calling all 10 of my boyfriends trying to be saved, right? Because I'm, like, embarrassed. I need someone to, like, validate me to make me feel better, right? You know, that shit. And then I was like, I think I got a problem. Like, I didn't want this to happen, right? Again, yeah. I don't trust myself. I'm afraid of myself at this point. It's like, I need help. And that's where the starting of my own healing journey happened. I was like, if I keep doing shit like this, and, and I remember one of the first things I, I said to my mentor is like, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed because it's like, 
every time I do something that I think I'm doing it, you know, to be happy and have fun. Free, I have, mm -hmm. then I Free. end up on a hotel lobby or whatever. Uh, past okay. With no control over myself. Yo. And this is where I find myself. And in that moment, it's funny that I was so embarrassed that then I took gummies and then I'm, I don't do well with, Queen? you took gummies bro yeah, it was yeah, yeah. so uh, bad like then i tough. couldn't move <laughs> you know <laughs> so i was like I, I think you know it's been a fun rodeo yeah. but i think i'm good now okay you know? <clears throat> jesus that's a lot <laughs> so okay, and then that's when okay so that's when you said okay i gotta do something yeah yeah that's what you do how so did your healing journey begin so i i didn't know what i was gonna do because i was like all i've known is partying all i've known is to have girlfriends that we say we're best friends and then like comes the week i don't hear from them mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. but and then the weekend comes they though they're out. there yeah, they want to go, go rage you know and i'm sure a lot of girls can relate to this like when you're in that bathroom at like saturday at three in the morning you know doing one well, god knows what yeah. it's like your besties you know but there's no depth to it you know yeah. i feel empty you know so I didn't know any other life than that. So that's when I started. I knew one girl that was always freaking happy, sharing her being in the bathtub, like in the jacuzzi, sober, without drinking. And I'm like, mm -hmm. happy, happy. And you know when someone's pretending to be happy and they're like, oh, I think they're lying. Yeah. She was like, it, it just, it was this light about her. Her eyes were glowing. You know, like when people have that spark in their eye, it's like it, their it's soul like is genuine, alive. Yeah genuine happiness i'm like how do you do it like show me the way mm -hmm. and then she got me into a group of girls that were all didn't drink didn't drug you know and it was all about emotional healing and um they call it emotional sobriety as well emotional intelligence it's also about mental health but we're people that had my thing you know what i have in my mind the thing is not the alcohol it's my mind yeah. right that the, they call it like the addiction of more Right. It's like never enough, never True. enough. It's like this rush. Not so you much know? alcohol. It, it can be up tied to anything. That's yeah. That, that gives you that high. Yeah. Essentially, sure. okay. essentially, you know, and it's like I'm, I'm never satisfied by just being, mm -hmm. you know, it's a, there's always something that is off inside of me. Um, and some people can relate. And that's how it started for me. Once I did a lot of my work, I worked in a lot of my abandonment issues from my dad leaving when I was, you know, three and all this shit. It's like, man, like, this is the way out. I want to share this with someone that knows what it's like to be in hell and want to get out. But was this a, like a group that was around that or did you like, how did you look for that healing on your own? Yeah. Was it on your own? No, well, it, it was them? through her, through, through, like through that system. friend. Yeah, it's yeah. like, a, it's a support system. Yeah. So it's a, so she was actually a part of something. It wasn't that she's just... No, no, it was like literally a group of people that don't drink, don't drug, right? And then they, okay. you know, That's work pretty on cool. themselves. Yeah. So, so you haven't drank since then? No. Oh, wow. I will say this, though. Um, I got out of that group because I was like, oh, I'm going to, you know, I, I got it. I, I figured it out. And then I got in a toxic relationship oh, and shit. he wanted to like smoke weed. And I was mm. like, no, I don't do that shit because I know where that leads me. And then I started mm. smoking and then smoking and then smoking became, you know, we had problems. So I would smoke and we would have problems. That's my thing. When I use anything to get out of myself, it's usually to numb my bad feelings. I don't work through them. Yeah. Because that's the way that your mind was working, yeah. like always needing, like coping more. Yeah, it's yeah. like I, I I hate being in my in my skin. You know, it gets to that point. That's why I have to do things that make me feel free. Because if gotcha. not, it's because I'm not always feeling free in myself. Well, if I'm not feeling right. free, I'm feeling you know, right, right, like right, shit. You know, so then you go, and then okay. then I try to use to make me feel better, and it's uh, like a rabbit yeah, hole. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Damn. Well, you like, no, no, no. I'm just, it's just it's. It could be overwhelming, you know, because yeah. uh, I mean, that's one ha hell of a story for you to like what you've been through and where you are now. And even though you're not really actively in that group anymore, I feel like it's oh, still. Oh, I am now. Yeah. I came oh, back. you came back oh, after the toxic relationship. I came back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was like, all right. I think and they you. embraced you back in. And they were like, "Girl, welcome home." <laughs> awesome. I love that. That's good, yeah. man. It's hard to find friends like that 